Welcome to the Uruk Platform Enrichment Project. My name is Munir Ajam, and I'm the founder and CEO of Uruk Project Management and the innovator behind the Uruk Platform. Uh, this is uh, enrichment project is related to seeking volunteers from the project management and product, ma product management community to help us enhance the Uruk Platform to maximize its value to our community and to organization. So let us explain what we are looking for. First, let's talk about the Uruk platform quickly. It's a digital solution, uh, so it's cloud-based. We consider it, it's called SaaS, it's basically software as a service, which means it's subscri subscription-based. It helps organization manage project program, product, and portfolio management. So this is very important to understand that it's not a, just a typical tool that can help maybe in costing or estimating or controlling or, or task management. Uh, or risk management. This is a fully encompassing solution that is cover project management methodology uh, and integration between project program and portfolio, among other things. The core principles, and that were the area probably where we need the help a lot, uh, is basically uh, the, uh, the value delivery methodology. A value delivery methodology that allow organization to lead project from ideation to operation, that is adaptive and scalable, which means we will be using tailored method. And it, that a lot of methodology support uh, module in the platform, such as uh, you know cost, scope management in those areas. So this is just the, the main things here to get out of the slide. It is a comprehensive solution. So it's quite, uh, quite substantial as a solution uh, with numerous module. Again, that is an important distinction from thinking of it as a, a, a tool that could be used for something very specific. Uh, the purpose of uh, the, and the objective of this project are basically the, the primary purpose is, is, is to enrich a platform. And obviously, you know, we are the ultimate objective, uh, you know, uh, the immediate objective of the project is to enrich a platform. The ultimate objective for us as a company, of course, to help customers maximize the chance of success on project. Uh, but in order to help organizations succeed, we need to make sure that we provide them with a great solution. And so basically what we were looking for is to ensure that, you know, the people who are using the platform have a great user experience uh, that could support organizational success. So the objective, there are two primary objective of this project. The first one is to enable the customer to self onboard. Uh, and I will talk about this a little bit later, but the whole idea because of, of software as a service, the, there are potential that some client can go online, subscribe to the platform and start using the platform without talking to us. Now, again, since this is not just a basic tool, it's a comprehensive solution. It can be quite complex and intimidating. Therefore, we need to make sure that we provide a lot of guidance in order to help with self onboarding. Uh, and then on the other side, we want to have a smoother user experience. So basically identify any remaining bugs or errors uh, and identify enhancement ideas uh, for future development. So the process. The process is the idea is that we need people with project management experience. We're not looking for technology tester. You know, we have our tech, you know, development team, we have quality assurance, and we have our own team doing some of the technical testing. Uh, and so uh, uh, this is focused more on user experience. So we want project manager and product manager because a lot of the, pro you know, the way our value delivery methodology is focusing on delivering product to market, right? And operating and, and at the end of the day, delivering value. Right? So this is extremely important. So it's not just limited, it could be project manager, pro product manager, program manager, uh, PMO manager, PMO directors, you know, anyone who is involved in project management and product delivery and value delivery uh, would be a good source because we want, again, that user experience. So we need to think like a client of the platform. So, you know, you, you subscribe to the platform, you want to learn how to use it and you want to use it properly. So you need to wear that hat. So obviously that means going through the registration process, exploring the different functionality, and work on a project, you know, or two, uh, right? So basically, uh, and when we say explore the different functionality, because there are a lot of, we have a welcome package, we have a root guide, we have knowledge portal. So we don't want you just to explore, you know, the functionality of managing project. We want to explore 
the utilization of the platform and self-boarding, self-onboarding on the platform. Now to help us, uh, um, typically we say each volunteer need to provide two email addresses. Well, that's not absolutely true for everybody because we have two versions. We have the individual version, which means in that case, you know, if you want to test that version, you will be only need one license, one email address to, to register on the platform and to get access. However, we are probably going to group as many people as are willing to in what we call an account. So we're going to create a what we call a test case, uh, a test account. So it means like an artificial uh, uh, dummy corporation, if you wish. And then we will invite people to go there. But to avoid working that you have to work as, in, in teams of twos, uh, which can take a lot of coordination. Ideally, if you are two people want to work together and one of you want to mention a function as a sponsor and one as a manager, that's great. However, reality is many, many individual contributors will come forward. So ideally you need two email addresses because this way we can assign one to you as a project manager team member and one as a sponsor. Now, why the sponsor role is important? Because the setup right now to, is that every project must have a sponsor. Now we are implementing functionality in the platform where we can waive that role. However, we want to basically be able to test both. So we need you to, to, to explore both sides, uh, you know, functioning like a manager and functioning like a sponsor or an executive. In terms of support, uh, initially we don't want to, we will not provide you a lot of uh, documentation early on other than the, you know, the, this video and some communication via email. Because we built into the platform, uh, again, when you log in the first time, you'll see a welcome package. There are user guide, there are videos, uh, there are many videos. There are so far, as of record, as of the time of recording this video, there are 18 videos. We call them educational demos. We will be adding more. By the time you log in, there'll probably be 25, 30 videos in the system. So we want you to try to uh, be uh, do self onboarding. Try as much as you can to check those things and said, are we providing enough guidance for you uh, to be able to use a platform as a subscriber that maybe you know just purchase purchase this for yourself or for your organization online. Right? So we want you to explore that capability. So there is that piece of it which has nothing to do with exploring the project management and you know module. And then, uh, of course, the other side, as we mentioned earlier, we need to explore the functionality. So we invite you, of course, to go in and set up a project and work on a project using one of the tailored method and then see how that goes. And now, of course, we're not gonna leave you hanging. Uh, if you need support, uh, we have one project manager in turn that will be working with us and that, uh, he or she, because right now we have two potential candidates, uh, will be coordinating uh, um, with you all. Uh, we'll provide you the form for the collecting feedback and uh, to get you the, your access information and to uh, grant you access to the platform. Uh, so that will be uh, will there. And of course, any technical project management question, I will always be available to answer as a creator of the platform. Uh, I will be able to provide a lot of guidance maybe even organize a webinar, whatever needed to, to get more in-depth knowledge. And this is, uh, we make this, is not, we're not just only looking for the feedback, even, even some people want to, to learn more beyond just this project, we will be happy to organize event and share the knowledge. Other relevant information, timing, uh, we're thinking basically about June 24, where we start communicating with everybody. So obviously, you know, maybe around July 1st, um, we expect this to be in two phases, phase one, you know, and we call that five weeks, roughly, this is arbitrary, uh, where we focus on fixes. So basically we want, as people go to the platform, identify any potential errors or bugs that might exist so we can immediately fix them. Uh, and then uh, of course, the, after that, then maybe, maybe people can go through the platform once again uh, and identify area for enha enhancement. Now, of course, you can do both together. Uh, there is no hard rule when you do, but from our perspective, our benefit the most is that the first week, we want to identify as many potential fixes uh, that we need to do. Uh, and then we will talk about enhancement for the future. 
In terms of confidentiality, we do not expect you to use confidential information, right? You don't have to use, not you don't have to, we prefer that you don't use any confidential information. Uh, uh, however, you know, you use a realistic project. So you might want to use some project similar to the project you do in your real life. Uh, but in, in all cases, in all cases, no one will see the data uh, except us. And we're not interested to look at the detail of your project. We mostly interested in getting your feedback. So you can we can assure you that it will be highly confidential. Finally, uh, your, your reward. What I mean, obviously we're looking for a volunteer here. So this is really not much of a reward. Your reward is probably more intangible where you are helping improving a solution to help the organization reduce failures. Uh, so in a way, the, the best reward is that the ability to help our community uh, and our organization uh, deliver value consistently. However, uh, we still appreciate you. So uh, what do we do here? We just kind of provide uh, on our website, we'll have a section to credit you. So all those volunteers who's willing to volunteer, uh, we will be able to credit you, of course, with your information, any information you're willing to share, your picture, your affiliation, uh, uh, we will be, we will post as a thank you. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we will share some of that information on social media. Of course, if you choose to be confidential, uh, up to you. Uh, however, we believe that we need to recognize you as someone who is willing to help our community. Um, now, uh, in addition to that, we'll give you lifetime access to the single user version of the platform. Uh, if you're working in project on product management, that's a thousand dollar value per year, right? And you get it for life. Uh, with all the feature enhancement, you will always get it and uh, no question asked. Uh, obviously we need, you know, uh, the condition here is that you participate and you provide feedback. If you're not, if you just give us your name and you don't provide any feedback, um, then of course that doesn't work. Um, and then you will be able. Now, if you are an organization and a small organization and maybe you want, uh, we can talk about maybe giving you some access for, for a team uh, for a short time, for a year or so, um, and then feature discount. Uh, we can discuss uh, if you want to get access as an organization. Uh, and this is just nothing more. I mean, I know we've seen a lot. I receive a lot of, you know, let me send you $5 for a cup of coffee, right? Uh, or let me send you lunch, uh, you know, an Uber ticket. Um, we, we will send you a gift certificate for $100. Uh, it, uh, we will find, I, honestly, I've never done this before. So we'll have to explore as maybe an Amazon gift or maybe just something generic you can use anywhere. Uh, and of course, uh, we will uh, uh, we will look at, the best feedback that may maybe who's the person who provided the most uh, feedback. And in this case, it's our judgment call. However, one of you, one of those volunteers will get a $500 certificate instead of 100. And just before closing, I want to mention that uh, we just posted a, uh, a, you know, an image and illustration on, on LinkedIn a couple of days ago, and we already have two people volunteering. So um, I'm excited that we will have, quite a few volunteer. We also have a group of uh, what we call them the Uru Platform Advisor. Those who've been involved with us for a while, they will be also involved in this project. But uh, basically, so we, we can have potentially two groups working, uh, the uh, Platform Advisors and then the volunteer working on this project. And with this, I say thank you. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about me, uh, you can find it online, uh, Munir Ajam on LinkedIn uh, or on any other social media. Uh, our company website is here and our platform site is different and it is also here. Thank you.